Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Farming Simulator 15 Mod Contest Map Spotlight. Today we're on Worcester Bacon by Ingmar19. And let's have a look at the briefing very quickly. West welcome in Worcester Bacon. You have two piggeries and a biogas plant. Cows and sheeps want to be feeded. Which is just an adorable way of saying fed. Uh, this map does require two mods. First is animation map trigger, and the second one is pretty much your own choice of which animal trailer do you want. Uh, the Mon Contest page says the Joskin Beta Ma Betty Max RDS 750. Personally, I'd use the OEB OBE trailer. Um, that's just my personal favourite, so. I need to buy. Well, then, so, you know, it's, it's up to you. I need to buy a uh, pickup. Map doesn't start you off with one, so let's very quickly get that. Uh, I don't have enough money. Well done, me. There we go, that's enough. So let's buy our pretty purple pickup. There we go. And let's have around to it. So, here's the shop. And is this genuinely vehicle storage at the shop? That is different, and is, this is not familiar. Land machine Muller. Muller. Is this a fuel trigger? Sorry, I'm just mildly distracted by the stuff that's here. It is a fuel trigger. Huh. Interesting shop. I like it. Um, I haven't had a look around this map at all. But, ah, you can buy fields. That's instantly a plus point for the map. Uh, fields are primarily squarish, which is a bit of a shame. So let's have a look around the cell points. and There, ah, uh, I've got to go around. Let's look around the cell points. That looks to be, oops, that looks to be corn. I've mentioned this on probably the same corn texture a few times already. I really like the corn texture like that. It's a very pretty texture, and I'll probably be ripping it out of all these maps once I've re-downloaded them. The ones that I really like. Um, just so that I can throw it into maps that are really good, but have corn textures that I'm not too hot on. So, here we have our first cell point. This is the Bela Mule. And here you can sell wheat, barley, canola, corn, potatoes, and sugar beet. Now you can see already this map has compost soil, which means you might need the compost soil mod, as well as pigs and beef, which means you will need some sort of animal trailer. Um, already kind of mentioned that, but I, th it's always best to reiterate stuff like that. I think that's the only way in and out, so that's not very costly friendly if you've got more than one tractor on the go. Not very, very me friendly because I'm instantly turned the wrong way. So over here, if we head down here, we're gonna head towards the Metzgrai. Also known as the meat factory or butchers or whatever you want to call it. Uh Fleischer, I yeah, butchers. I don't know why it's called Metzgerei in, in the map. Because Fleisch is German for meat. Uh, as far as I'm aware. So at the Metzgerei you can sell Pigs and be beef. Huh. Something's not right there. Either the pig price is insanely low or the cow price is ridiculously insanely high. Because this pigs are six hundred euro a ton, cows are nine hundred and sixty thousand euro a ton. I think something went funky in the uh, setup of this map, and that's almost definitely not right. Now, as you can see, it's kind of a circular map, so I can go whichever way I like. Uh, I'm going to head down this way to the garden centre and have a look around here. So you can buy your wool, uh, your wood pallets there, some fertilizer, some seeds. Pretty basic garden centre, and we're going to head up around the circle as we go along. So over here. You have your, what I'm guessing is cows and pigs, or beef and pigs. Let's see what's on these signs here. Number one, and this is pigs. You can see the pigs in there. 
I'm just going to quickly check if the pigs have been implanted right. They have. Uh, just, uh, just so that you know, if you're implanting pigs and beef into your maps yourselves, um, because it is a, as far as I'm aware, of, a relatively easy edit to make. Um, if the pigs and beef are going up the, an invisible ramp here, or going out an invisible door, it means they're not implemented right, and I learned that the hard way. Um, on Whisper Chills, or not Whisper Chills, Cobra Park Farm, because I actually did break the um, animal sales on Cobra Park Farm. Um, that's how I learned the, how the, they break. So this is going to be the beef, or more pigs. Okay, they're both number one. I think something might have gone funky. Uh, unless there is in fact a second thing up here somewhere. Um, I don't know. Let's head back out to the circle. The ring road. Having something like that in a map is always nice, having a ring road. Um, it might seem a bit weird. And I have already noticed that almost all the fields are very squarish. Um, uh, it kind of fits the map in its own way. So over here you've got the milk factory. And we can check for... A cell point of any description, it'll probably be marked out on the ground. I don't see one, so presumably you can't sell milk. You still have some sugar beets on the ground, which is interesting. So over here we have the sheep. And this is the advantage of a ring road, is I can actually show you a bit more in one go. And oh, de oh dear, oh dear. It's hovering. The entire building is hovering. There is actually no part of this building which touches the ground. That is something that should have been picked up in the testing. This side of the building has absolutely no light so whatsoever, so it should really be facing the other way, I think. Um, well, you're not supposed to be able to see that side of the building. It's supposed to be locked up or something. Um, that's something that should have been picked up in testing. It is a major oversight, in my opinion. Uh, it's a bit of a shame, because that looks really nice. Uh, just needs to be lowered, what, 10, 15 centimeters to scale. Um, other than that, nice p sheep area. Different model, which is always nice. So over here we have what appears to be the BGA. Let's have a look in. I'll go over there in a moment. So we got two huge silos here. Absolutely massive. And there is an invisible collision going on with the pickup here. So look at the shape of the oh. That's why there's an invisible collision. It looks like the um the, the silage silos are going to be sloped and it's all the one fill plane and it's 2015 spec BGA fill point and you got your slurry tank over there is there a second way out over here? there is so this place is relatively course play friendly uh, I'm drifting everywhere relatively course play friendly except for maybe the silos but course play now allows you to reverse oh there's actually Fryland silo over here so one or two. Two Fryland silos. So you actually get four BJ silos. Um, that's a nice little touch. Let's head over to the cows. Turn in through here. Okay. Some storage in there that works with um, the thing. Uh, animation map trigger. You've got your manure there. Another two for island silos there. There's your cow zone with your feeding trough and all of that good stuff. It looks like you can actually get into the field that holds the cows. Can you? No, you can't. It's a nice bit of detail. You got your pretty default uh, FS15 slurry pit. Which, where's the trigger for that? Where is the slurry trigger? 
Oh dear, has the map maker forgotten something very important? Oh, that is a major oversight. Um, you can't get slurry on this map. From the cows, at least. He's forgotten the trigger. Uh, who, who made this? Ingmar19 forgot the uh, slurry trigger. That's a big oopsie. Uh, that it actually breaks the map. <laughs> to be quite honest. And it's lost quite a few marks, in my opinion. Uh, let's go down and have a look over here with the biomass heating plant and get tried out Roth R and we'll finish up with the main farm and show off the default equipment. Well the starting equipment. So over here we have the biomass heating plant ripped directly out of your home. It works pretty much as normal. Uh, I would presume. Remember everyone this is first impressions. I know diddly squat about these maps before I actually open them. Other than the fact they exist and they're downloadable. So here is the Gatrida Roth, where you can sell wheat, barley, canola, corn. And there is some dust rising. I thought I was just seeing things. There is actually some dust rising out here, which is a nice little touch, but only if you sit at the right angle. <coughs> so let's head down into the center of the map, right down into the heart. And we will have a look at the actuals. Something I want to find over here. Uh, I've just spotted something by field 2 that looks like it could be a cow plant or a beef plant. So you got Whoa, this is a big grass field. You won't ever need to plant grass on this map, I don't think. You've got all the grass you'll probably ever need right here. Um, especially if you plant some corn. Something I have just noticed, however, you don't start off owning a field. Stop. How much is field one? 47,700. It's a bit cheap for a field of that size, to be honest. So the fields are priced a bit unreasonably in terms of they're far too cheap for my liking. What is this? What's a wood sell point? So you can sell your wood here, there's no train to take it away, but yeah, you can still sell it. So that's a thing. Uh, the forest area, you can see it up there between fields 1 and 12. I'm just going to ignore that because of reasons. So some of the decisions this map maker has made are very strong. Oh, you do start off with a field. You start off with an unnumbered field. That Kinda makes sense, I guess. So let's head into the main farm here and have a look around. So here we are at the main farm. You got a slurry tanker. And oh, wait a second. If you got a slurry tanker here, that means that there's probably a slurry trigger here. Yes, there is. Which means that the cow slurry trigger isn't at the cows because it's over here. That is a different decision. And a brave one at that. Um, so here you've got... Uh, where's the crop storage? Is it in this shed? Oh yes, it's using this funky one. Wheat, barley, canola, and the teeny tiny pile of corn. Now this map starts off with some unusual equipment. And I'm going to kind of walk through in a, in a moment. Um, in fact, now, because this is a nice little farm. I like the little details. Um, going to just open up the garage here. So you start off with two agro stars, which... A relatively normal starting equipment. You get your T4, a stall front loader and bucket. For your T4, I know some people want the New Holland front loader for the New Hollands, but personally I think they're kind of interchangeable. Um, I wouldn't put the New Holland front loader on anything that's not in New Holland, but I'd put the stall front loader on whatever on it, whatever I like. And personally, I kind of like black on, black on black here. 
instead of black or uh, blue and black. So you get your sample rose and blue and the header for that. You also get a mix, oops, a uh, mix five, which is a very unusual choice because you you don't own anything that can run the mix five. Which makes it a very unusual choice indeed. Um, you get your Brantner, your Cocker Lean Trio, your Coon Very Master, the obligatory Vitus M, and rather unusually a Marshall ST1800. You get three 700 kilo weights, two 1000 kilo weights, and very unusually 28 pigs. <laughs> Which is um, why the pigs one looked so full. There were actually pigs there. And the chickens are down here as well. I don't think there's much else to show you on this map. Uh, it's all kind of done in a circle and, and nicely laid out, in my opinion. It's all right. It's not the best map I've ever seen. It's not the worst map I've ever seen. If you want a German-style map, you can't really go wrong here. Ingmar19 did a good job. Um, I probably won't return to this map, but it's a nice map. Um, I'll probably actually return just to whip the corn texture, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, and goodbye.